Hey folks, welcome back. It's been a while. I've been super busy, but it's uh, nice to be back. I thought we'd do a quick video today on uh, a little singer-songwriter kind of idea. Uh, this is really typical of a singer-songwriter setup where we'll have two microphones, an acoustic guitar DI, and it's all recorded live. It's very much like what you would do at home. And uh, so let's kind of walk through it. So we've got a, a vocal microphone in front of uh, the singer, and we have a, an acoustic microphone uh, kind of below that on the guitar, and an acoustic DI. Very simple setup. So what we're going to do here, uh, because this is sort of like uh, maybe how you would record a demo sometimes, or if you're uh, gutsy and you want to do a full-blown you know, live tracking thing, which is actually really awesome to do, I suggest doing that, this is how you would do it. Right now, we just have these three inputs, and so what I want to do is sort of create some space around this. I'm going to do that by using a technique uh, which is called the precedence effect. Some people call it the Haas effect, um, and we're going to use the acoustic DI to do that. So let's uh, move over to the mix console here, and uh, we'll take a look here. There are no uh, processes on this right now at all. As you can see, everything is mono, straight up the middle. Here's the vocal microphone. I can get to sleep. I think about me. Here's the acoustic mic. And the DI. So what can we do with this? Well, the first thing we can do is sort of make sure that our vocal mic is set up well, right? That's always the first thing. And the, uh, the acoustic mic is there for uh, a little bit of added sound. The DI is usually there as a, a backup, but let's use it because it's, it's, it's useful. And what I want to do, first of all, is check the phase. I always tell people to do this with the acoustic mic. So now I'm going to engage the, the phase reversal on the acoustic mic. I can get to sleep. I think about the implications. They are in phase, and uh, you can tell uh, if you listen closely. If I uh, flip the phase on uh, this, or flip the polarity on this channel, things will become very thin sounding. Let's check the phase with the DI and the guitar. Since we know that the uh, vocal and the acoustic microphones are in phase, let's just uh, check the acoustic mic with the DI. Right, and they are in phase as well. Good to know. Okay, so now, I'm going to turn on some uh, summing here at the end. Uh, we're going to do this in sort of a, what's called a top-down mix, where we take the ending of the song, the, the output, and we kind of start there. So I'm going to work backwards. We're going to try to make the song sound good from the top down. That's what that means. turn on some uh, tape at the end here. I'm using the ATR 102 on 250. Let's get to a, let's get to a louder part. I can get to sleep. I think about the implication. Okay, cool. That's getting kind of bright, but we'll take care of that. 
Move on. Let's move over here and turn some tape on on the uh, individual channels. I can't get to sleep. I think about the implication. Okay. On the mix bus output, I'm going to turn on a compressor. I'm using the Shadow Hills compressor. You can use whatever you want, obviously. I like this one, especially on acoustic uh, music. I usually turn off the uh, optical circuit. I use the discrete circuit only, and I, I tend to use the steel uh, transformer. I can't get to sleep. I think about the implication of diving in. Yeah, you can hear the weight of that transformer. Alone between the sheets Only brings exasperation It's time to walk the streets Smell the desperation Now I'm using this in a, a pretty common way where it's kind of a, a long attack that's 10 uh, milliseconds and then a, a quick release. Very common. Uh, it's just there for tone mostly. But if you notice, it's catching some of the peaks, especially on the vocal section here. Um, night after night. Yeah, you see that little gain reduction right there. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, mostly I'm looking for tone, though. Now I'm going to put a, uh, an equalizer on the end of this, and I usually have a, a little setup that I use as just a starting place. Night after night, my shows the fear. Especially on singer-songwriter music, it's a, it's a good idea to uh, go ahead and put this on there. So you're mixing into it. I have a, a, a high pass at 20 hertz. This is real simple. There's nothing fancy about what I'm doing here. A, a high pass at 20 hertz. I usually have a little bump at 70 hertz and a little tiny bump at 16K. So we're, it's a real easygoing little uh, smiley kind of thing. If you can even call it that, it's such a small movement. But the uh, components inside of the curve bender, just like the Shadow Hills, are there for tone. Night after night, my heart shows the fear. Ghosts appear and fade away. Okay, so what are we going to do now with the acoustics? I'm going to mute the uh, vocals for a minute. And I just want to focus on this DI. Real simple. I've got a, a, a high pass at 40 hertz because I don't want anything low coming through. And I've used a Soothe plugin to uh, kind of tame some of those sharp parts. Now here's where things get a little interesting. What I want to do on this Acoustic DI to make this uh, space a little bigger, I don't want to do this, by the way, with the acoustic mic because the uh, the vocals are bleeding into it. I'm just going to take the acoustic DI, make a copy of it, right? So if I uh, move over here to uh, the uh, mixer page, I click on the acoustic DI, I can come up here to track and duplicate the track. I've done that here with a DI copy. It's the exact same thing. There's no difference. And I'm going to process that basically the same way with the uh, Pro Q3 and the Soothe. Now we have two DI copies, but there's something I want to do different about this. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, first of all, create an acoustic sub that I have here. The acoustic sub is a sub mix for the acoustic guitars, and I'm going to send all of these into there. Now, if I just leave these the way they are, if this was uh, mono up the middle, we wouldn't have any sort of uh, stereo field or, or any sort of perception of sound, right? It would just be on top of each other. That's not really the thing I want to focus on, though. I am going to move this over a bit, and I'm going to come up here to the utility, and this is where the magic is going to happen. I'm going to delay the DI copy by about 7 milliseconds. No, it doesn't matter how long you delay it. If you go back and read the, uh, the wiki page, I'll put a link in the description, about the Haas effect, it, it sort of goes through an explanation of, of how you want to go about doing this. But 
typically you can think of uh, the Haas effect between about five milliseconds to about 50 milliseconds difference in two sources. And what that will do is create a stereo image, okay? Uh, it's, it's got to do with how we perceive the sound. And if I do that here, we end up with... I'm going to mute one of those. Now that's the same signal being processed the same way. I'm just delaying one signal by 7 milliseconds. Let me turn that delay off. I make this delay between these two uh, parts the uh, the broader the spectrum is and that's you know some people like that a lot better I actually am real sensitive to that so I usually keep it around uh, somewhere low I kept this on seven because I I felt like that felt right so now when I blend that in to the acoustic mic which is right up the middle of the stereo image Pretty simple, right? So now we've got the acoustic guitar taken care of. I'm going to unmute those or unsolo those. Let's go back to the vocals right fast and we'll just do the whole thing right now the way it is. Night after night, my heartbeat shows the fear. Ghosts appear and fade away. Okay, looking at the uh, top down approach, I'm going to come to this acoustic sub right fast. I'm going to take a look at what I've done here. I've got a little notch of, uh, well, a good bit of a notch around the 153 hertz on this acoustic um, EQ. If I were to solo that section, that's a lot of mud. So I'm using a dynamic portion of this EQ to pull it down. So it's retaining its level until a peak hits through and then it pulls it down. Pretty simple. And the next thing I'm doing is using a simple compressor. Medium slow attack, kind of fast release, four to one. It's off. Now I'm using a de-esser here to kind of grab some of these peaks that poke through. Awesome. A little bit more polish with the API uh, vision strip. Let's take a look at what I'm doing here. I'm kind of pushing the gain into this to get some uh, preamp kind of harmonics. I've got a high pass up around uh, somewhere around between 50 and 100. I guess that's around 80. And I'm going into the uh, compressor limiter section here. A medium attack. Uh, this is real gentle kind of stuff here. A three to one compression ratio and a release of around 0.25 seconds. That's not too bad. Oh, I am using the soft knee. That's kind of important. We'll talk about knees sometime in another video maybe. And this is the old style circuit. So that's a feedback circuit. Hundred hertz, a little bit of a dip. 3K, a little bit of a dip. A little bit of a boost at 15K. So we'll go through on and off. Here's on. Now 
little tiny movements that make up a big difference. Here's everything together on the guitars. Cool. Let's take a look at the vocals. I've got a Pro Q3 just to roll off at 57 hertz. Night after night, my heartbeat shows the fear. Ghosts appear and fear. Another DSer just to grab some. Push night through. after night, my heartbeat shows the fear. Neve 1073, a roll off at 50, just for safety mostly. A little boost at 110, a little dip at 3.2. This area of 3.2, as you've probably, if you've watched any of my videos, I'll always talk about this is a sort of area of uh, nastiness. Just dip it down a little bit, uh, and the top end, a little bit of boost. Night after night, my heartbeat shows the fear. Ghosts appear and fade away. That little tiny bump at 110 is really important. It really gives a little, you know, it's a lot of feel down there. Night after night. It's off. Night after night. Night after night. My heart beats. And all of that, we're going to push through a compressor, the 176 compressor, using sort of a fast attack, sort of a fast release, about the same setting on those two. Night. A four to one ratio. Night after night, my heartbeat shows the fear. Ghosts appear and fear. If you notice, that's not really doing too much. I don't really want it to. I mostly want the tone of this box and to uh, clamp down a little on these higher peaks. Night after night, my heart... So in the lower peaks, we're not doing anything. Alone between the sheets. Get over here. At least there's pretty lights. And without it. At least there's pretty lights. At least there's pretty lights. Oh, it's such a good tone. I love the way this compressor sounds, and it's doing the work that it needs to do as well. It's pulling down those uh, those peaks. In the end here, where uh, Colin gets pretty loud, it's very helpful. Like, for instance, this area. I think about the implication of diving in too deep. Possibly the complication. Yeah, that gets pretty heavy, and I need some compression right there. Uh, so here's everything so far together. Only brings exasperation. It's time to walk the streets. Smell the desperation. At least there's pretty lights. And though there's little variation. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to turn everything off. We'll listen to it, and then I'll come back with everything on. Okay, no processing. Only brings exasperation. It's time to walk the streets. Smell the desperation. And with processing. Only brings exasperation. It's time to walk the streets. Smell the desperation now to me that's pretty dry so let's go ahead and throw a couple of reverbs on here i'm going to start with the ocean way plugin everything that is in the mix here is going to go to the ocean way plugin i'm actually using it on the bus of the guitars and the uh, individual track of the vocals only brings exasperation it's time to walk the streets now, if you notice, I'm using the drum uh, setup here, which is, you know, kind of, it doesn't matter what you use. The mics are set up as if the singer was in that position or the performer. So I'm using two sets of mics, the mid and the far, and I'm using it in re-mic mode, which is not normally what you would do on a bus, but I just think it sounds cool, so why not? Only brings exasperation It's time to walk the streets Smell the 
desperation At least there's pretty lights Gives a little bit of ambiance, a little bit of early reflections, uh, a little bit of the room sound, which is what we need, so that's why that's there. Let's go ahead and put a, a, a plate reverb on this. Only brings exasperation It's time to walk the streets Smell the desperation at least there's pretty lights Only brings exasperation It's time to walk the streets It's a lot of reverb I'm gonna start at the beginning here with this uh, plug-in at the beginning of the song can get to sleep I think about the implications okay so this is all a matter of taste but I kind of want this a little bit dreamy sounding so I've got kind of a long tail on this um, on this plate C going I'm rolling off some of the low end of this of this reverb around 260 Hertz everything is going to that reverb um, pretty much at the same level too Okay, so what I'm going to add here with this free imager plugin from um, Ozone Folks, Isotope, this uh, imager is going to sort of open up the, the sound field on this reverb because it's sort of kind of confined to our normal space right now, which is fine. But in this application, it might sound better to be a little wider than the actual recorded image. can get to sleep I think about the implications of diving in too deep and possibly the complications right okay so I can totally hear that I don't know if you can hear it on the video very well if you have headphones on you can probably hear it really really well it kind of engulfs the whole sound kind of makes it bigger it's perfect I like it and I can't believe it's free but that's awesome Let's, let's add another reverb. Why not, right? Let's add the capital chambers. We're going to start at the same place. I'm going to roll that in. I can get to sleep. I think about the implication. Diving in too deep. Now, why would I use both? Um, one of the reasons I use both plates and chambers is for uh, chambers, I sort of think of as a height uh, a reverb, and a plate is more of a linear uh, flat reverb. So we get two dimensions using both. That's why I'm using those. Day after day, it reappears. Night after night, my heart shows the fear. Ghosts appear and fade away. I'm making little minor adjustments here as we go. I just pulled the tail down on that plate reverb because it was a little much. Imagination. Day after day, it reappears. So making that tail a little shorter blends better with the, uh, the chamber. Okay, one more thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this through a parallel bus, which is gonna give me the compression and the dynamics that I want. So everything is gonna go through this bus, um, except the effects. In other words, it's the tracks that I'm going to send through. Imagination, day after day, I'm going to use the Chandler Limited, uh, Zener Limiter, and I tend to use this on the limit function. I'm using the sidechain at 50. Pretty quick uh, release, well, for this 
compressor. Medium attack. Imagination. Day after day. Yeah, let me boost that so you can hear that. It sounds terrible, but mixed underneath it, everything, it sort of brings out a bigger picture. Imagination. We're just listening to the parallel buzz now. Day after day, it reappears. Night after night, my heart. Now, the idea behind that is to bring up low level information like the quieter parts and squash down the louder parts so there's an even picture underneath the the full picture if that makes sense so if you have two layers of the mix you have the the main parts that we're hearing and then underneath we have this little blanket of the same mix that is more squashed and so it brings out a bigger picture in the overall end imagination day after day it reappears Night after night My heart Shows the fear Cool. Okay, let's check it out with no effects and then with the final part of the mix that we made. No effects now. Imagination Day after day It reappears Night after night, my heart shows the fear. And with the final processing. Imagination. Day after day, it reappears. Night after night, my heart shows the fear. Ghosts appear and fear. Between the sheep. Okay, great. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. I'm sorry it took me so long to get back. Like I said, life's been crazy. I've been super busy um, working on other projects, working on my own projects. And so right now I'm kind of having a break, and maybe I can make a few more videos. If you have any questions, if you have any requests for videos, just leave them in the comments down below. I'll make a video for basically anything if you have a question. I appreciate you watching and liking and subscribing. That's awesome of you guys. I really do appreciate that. And uh, more videos are coming very soon.